Hello everyone, I hope you're doing very well. Today we're in the F818C Hornet and you guys have asked for a video of how to use the spin recovery button and whether it works or not. I believe it does. How it actually works is, seems to be disagreed upon. I was under the understanding that it was advisory only. It tells you how to get out of the spin, but it doesn't actually take control of any of your flight surfaces, whereas some other guys think it does take control of the flight surfaces. I'm not very sure. So we're going to have a quick go. What we're going to do is put ourselves in a flat spin, either normal way up or inverted. I don't suppose it really matters. And then we're going to go completely hands-off control. Uh, we're going to go full throttle and we're going to turn this guy on here and then see what happens. So let's first of all get ourselves in a spin. That's a nice little spin. Look at that baby. Beautiful. We are now fully in a unrecoverable spin at this point. Put the rather engine on just to simulate having both engines on. That is, uh, yeah, we're not going to recover from that. So at this point, I am going to just freeze frame. I'm going to pretend it's worse than it actually is. I'm going to pretend it's, you know, pitch black so we can't see the horizon. We've got no situational awareness. We don't even know whether we're upside down or whether we're right way up. So we're going to go hands off control. We're going to uh, open our guy up here, put our spin recovery on and do what the DDIs tell us. You can see that we've got spin mode and we're going to have, it's telling us to do left stick. So I'm presuming that's full left stick. So we'll see if that gets out of the spin. So I'm pause up. Spin recovery on, full left stick, and let's just see what happens. We've got 19,000 feet to beat this. Our airspeed's rising again. Eighty knots, we're still stalled. But we are recovering, and that is us friggin' recovered, and up we go. With 13,000 feet to spare. So if I did that low down, I don't think I'd have enough time. In fact, why don't we go try that now? Let's stall at half that distance, about 12,000 feet, and let's see if we can uh, recover from there. So we're going to go off, back to normal. Should be interesting. Oh dear, this isn't going to go well. We're upside down this time, so this is full panic mode. Uh, right, so we've got 10,000 feet to recover. So we're going to unpause, up, full right stick. Yeah, this isn't going to work, is it? 8,000 feet. Okay. Actually, we recovered really easily there. That's interesting. So that's uh, about 12,000 feet we recovered from. Um, I guess we'll try it even lower then. Um, in fact, why don't we try it exactly the same as that, but without spin recovery button here and see whether it still works. Okay, button off, burners on, let's go. Okay. So this time we're going to try with the button turned off and just basic spin mode. So we're just going to right stick both engines on. Let's see what happens. A 
does not appear to be working. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, it's a bit more violent. Pretty much the same. It seemed to work pretty much the same whether I had the spin recovery button on or not. I just followed the instructions on the screen and it just worked. So whether the spin recovery switch actually, you know, how much it helps me get out, out of a spin, I really don't know. So that was an inverted spin. Let's just try a uh, standard non-inverted spin just to double check without the spin recovery on. that is just in a lovely flat spin so this time we're not going to turn the button on again and we're just going to use the uh, advisory spin mode instructions here so it's on pause left stick whoops just realized i have my other engine turned off let's try it with both engines on 18,000 feet. Does not appear to be getting out of the spin. Oh, yes, it does. Speed's going up. Come on. And that is us recovered and flying. Okay. So at the end of that, whether you have this button turned on or off doesn't actually seem to make any difference. Um, all you've got to do is, whether it's an inverted spin or a, a normal flat spin, then you just follow the instructions that are on the basic DDIs and you just seem to get out of the spin just as easily as you do with the full button press. So, not sure what to think about that. Let me know what you think and see you later.